This is the Morning Swim Show for Monday, June 6th, 2011. I'm your host, Peter Bush, in the Phoenix Monitor today. We'll talk to Eugene Godso and Greg Pearsall. Eugene, most of you swim fans know, is a national championship backstroker at Stanford. He's now pro and training at Swim Mac. And together, Eugene and Greg have started a second career in music. They formed the band Take Your Mark. Here now in the Phoenix Monitor to talk about music and swimming, Eugene Godso and Greg Pearsall in Charlotte. Hey guys, welcome back to the show. How you doing? Good. Thanks for having us, Peter. How you doing, Peter? All right. Uh, Greg, first of all, any relationship to Aaron? Yeah, he's actually my brother. For real? No, not at all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm all by myself, I guess, in this one. All right, but you guys are swimming together at Swim Mac. Eugene, obviously, as I mentioned, swim fans know you. National Championship swimmer at Backstroke uh, at Stanford. Greg, yep. um, D3 swimmer, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. And now you're, are you pro, like training for the Olympics? I mean, tell me what your swimming goals are. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, we all have the same kind of training goals in mind. Um, I'm trying to make the Olympics as well in the, in the 50 and 100 freestyle, and I also swim the 100 fly as well. So those are my uh, events right now. Eugene, you, uh, you locked in for 2012. You think uh, that's, the, that's realistic? Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm fully committed right now. That's why I made the the move to Charlotte and uh, to swim with Dave Marsh. He's had a lot of success. So my my thing right now is trying to figure out which event is going to work out for me. So I'm, I guess I'm more known as a backstroker, but my hundred fly and hundred freestyle long course have shown a lot of promise so far this season. So I think this summer will be a pretty good gauge of kind of seeing where I'm at. All right, tell us about this musical endeavor. Yeah, so um, I guess we. I mean, we both kind of moved here recently, and we kind of just met each other through the team. And um, our music taste and our kind of passion for music is kind of, uh, kind of aligned, and we just started jamming together a little bit, and then we kind of decided to make it a more regular thing, and now we're putting some stuff online and playing some shows. Yeah. So you guys are actually going out there in Charlotte and playing bars and clubs and stuff like that? Yeah. <laughs> All right, Greg, how would you describe Take Your Mark's music? Um, we're like acoustic pop covers that we put our own spin on things, and uh, I play guitar and Eugene plays piano, so we kind of put a different twist on stuff, and because of our separate music backgrounds, since we're pulling from a bunch of different places, we kind of uh, put a unique spin on different songs that uh, people haven't heard before, so we like to make it our own and have fun with it. All right, so what's like, uh, what's a fan favorite at the moment? Um, I'd say one of our biggest hits is probably like MGMT Kids. Um, we just finished up doing Little Lion Man by uh, Mumford and Sons. You know, we do we try to cover a lot of top forty, like any VOB or any of the popular songs you might hear on the radio. You'll hear us cover. We did a Katy Perry song. It was awesome. It's not a big deal. <laughs> Which one? Teenage Dream. Now, is yeah. it like the one that the Princeton guys did? Is it that version, or is it a little different? <laughs> um, I can see that. I, I remember seeing it. It's it's a little different. It's it's still kind of interesting, but not not quite as interesting as their video. I'll, I'll say. Well, I hate to put you on the spot, but I mean, can you guys jam out a little bit right now, or without music, <laughs> without instruments? Uh, well, instruments are kind of part of our thing. I don't know. Um, you want me to like introduce you, like it's uh, like you're at a club. I don't, I don't know. We, we should probably just direct the viewers to like our YouTube yeah. or, or MySpace. We have a lot of songs up. Um, yeah, we got four YouTube videos and we got three songs up on our MySpace. So, you know, like they'd be able to hear our, our good quality stuff yeah. first we'll, and everything. We'll put some links up on Swimming World so people can check it out. Awesome. awesome. Yeah, we're, we're definitely trying to put up, you know, a song or two every week and try to get the thing rolling. All right, Eugene, just to circle back real quick to swimming. So you're training with Thoman. That's obviously one of the big draws of going out there, one of the top backstrokers. Now you got two of you guys training together. But you say fly and free. You see perhaps more potential to make the team in those events? Um, I don't know about more potential, but there's definitely a lot more upside, I'd say, in those events because when I got to Stanford as a freshman, Hongzi Sun was there. And then after he graduated and I became a sophomore, I was kind of the only backstroker. So there's a lot of pressure on me to perform in the backstroke events and then – I was kind of always the, the go-to guy for backstroke, 
And I never really got an opportunity to train fly and free as much as I would have because I had a lot of good, um, say, swims in high school. But because of the need for backstroke, I didn't do fly or free. So now I'm here kind of on my own. I can branch out and do those different events. And especially for long course, um, I'm still trying to find my, my niche, I guess. So I guess, you know, we'll see. And Greg, you say you, you want to make the team. I mean, can you give us uh, I mean, what, what are some of your fastest times so people can, can start to look out for you and know if you're improving? Or... Um, well, this is actually the, my first experience swimming year round. I've never, this is actually my first experience long course as well. So I've been, I've been 23.5 in my 50, so I've just made nationals in that. Um, but everything's brand new to me. I didn't really lift any weights in college either. So um, this year is basically a really big learning year, and I'm trying to, uh, you know, really, really get forward and, and get some good times and then really uh, buckle down next year and uh, really improve on top of them. So I um, still think a lot of my best times are yet to come, but um, I'm uh, hoping to put up some really good times out at Nationals. So a little bit like Josh Schneider, who's training out there. Very raw, doesn't have a ton of swimming background, but uh, got some natural speed and just kind of figuring it out. Yeah, there's definitely a couple of us there like that. <laughs> yeah, I think I think David really likes pulling in swimmers with a lot of upside and a lot of potential like like Greg, so that's why you see a lot of sprinters like him on our team. Hmm. Very cool, guys. Well, it's going to be fun to watch you this summer, and uh, can't wait to see where the musical endeavor goes. I mean, is it something you guys are just doing for fun, or do you think perhaps when swimming's up, maybe see uh, if you can sell a record or two? We're, we're both pretty obsessed with music, yeah. Um, and it's also like a, I don't know, one of the things that's really good is it's a, it's a nice break from, you know, the constant being at the pool and being in the water and stuff. So it's a, it's a way we get to mix stuff up. And uh, obviously we love swimming and we love music, so it's a really good way to uh, mix it up and have a fun time with both of it. So I think we're, we're both fairly serious about it. It's a lot of fun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to say we want to take it super serious right now, but, uh, I, I mean, we're both very dedicated to it and we want to, you know, see how far it goes that, but swimming is obviously our number one priority right now, at least till 2012. So we'll just kind of see where the, where the music takes us, I guess. All right. Well, we'll look for you to uh, play the national anthem at trials next year when you're both swimming. You set that up and we'll do it. Yeah, <laughs> done. Sounds good, guys. Greg Pearsall and Eugene Godso. thanks for joining us in the Finis Monitor. And to finish out today's show, we are going to leave you with one of the videos from Take Your Mark.
family of trees wanted to be out in. Enjoy yourself, drink only what you need from it. Family of trees.